If you don't know what happened in Bangkok 10 years ago, there's a link below. I'm not going to go into the roots or causes or take sides because I live here and I don't express political opinions. But there was a major protest that turned into fighting in the streets in April and May of 2010 and I had a front row seat. In April it was much like a street fair. You could go down there. They occupied the main business district and that all changed on April the 10th. There was a conflict near Kosan Road. The army was ambushed by heavily armed members of the protesters. There was a small faction that was heavily armed, black shirts they called them, and they pulled back with the loss of life. And this is the film of a Reuters photographer who was killed that evening, Hiro Marmuta. They lost 25 table rifles, 9 M16s. They had m79s are ready and they got ammunition that night uh plus a bunch of other equipment as a protester showing off his green tip bullets including three type 85 apcs with 50 cal they didn't use those they burned them that would have been a big escalation after that things got a little tenser the barricades got better i took a ride with this guy i'll show you that's his talisman of good luck he was inside the blocked off area of the main business district of Bangkok which was occupied by protesters for well over a month and they kept building better and better barricades this is at the corner of Phongchit and Wikiyu uh, where Home Pro and now Central Embassy are and that's about the only building that's the same Bangkok has changed so much but that's their barricade didn't do much good when the end came but I had to go buy it every day um, I went home from work when I was in Bangkok. I travel a lot, so that plays a part later because I came back right in the middle of it. Right in the middle of the worst of it. This is actually uh, Chitlom, the bridge at Chitlom and Petburi. They had another barricade there and sandbag, barbed wire, tires to burn, and a truck. Uh, that later. So I came back from business trip on the 14th. They were about to sign a peace agreement when I left, uh, but I couldn't get home. I had to walk down the middle of the highway at Friday afternoon. No, nobody was there. Things had gotten much worse. As I came back from the airport, I could see barricades burning and hear shots. They wouldn't take me all the way home, but th the peace deal had fallen apart and things were very tense. Now fast forward to the future. This is today in COVID Bangkok. In May, looking down at the intersection of Wittyu and Petburi. This is May 16th, 2010. another one and they're trading fire up and down the street the government uh, main line was to the right and the protesters were off to the left this went on for three days I was basically trapped in my uh, condo uh, because sporadically during the day and the night they would start trading fire like that Somebody complained at the time, why is it all shaky? Well, that's because I was crouched down behind the edge of my balcony trying not to get shot. So to get out, I had to go through sporadic gunfire. This is on Wittyu looking from the government lines. And I worked for Microsoft at the time. They eventually arranged a car to come in during a lull in the fighting and take me out. We had we were searched at roadblocks at the highway in Petbury and at Soy 3. They had another line, and then I got out, and uh, next day I flew to Vietnam, and it all went to hell. On the morning of the 19th, the army moved in, and this is the barricade on uh, 
Chitlam burning as his foul footage of APC is taking out their barricades. Uh, the protesters camp. Could have been a bloodbath, could have been a lot worse, but could have been better too. And I returned to Bangkok on the 21st, got to the Planchet station and found this scene, which reminds me of the COVID we're going through now and the curfew. I think I was out after curfew, but I had a late flight, so I, I walked home. So the next morning I got up and, and walked down to check out the damage along that quarry and just in, in my immediate area they hadn't cleaned up anything yet. All the trees along Petbury Road were full of bullet holes, all the signs, all the glass was blown out of the phone booths, bus stops. This is today, this is then, left over razor wire. Now this is the bridge over Kong Sun Sap at Chitlam. That's the barricade back then after it burned. That's the truck I showed you before. Here are some Red Bull bombs. They're just gunpowder with a uh, fuse stuck in them. And being who I am, I saved one. There was some tech at the time, the phone and my separate recorder I used for this. Here on the overpass on Peshaburi Road. And my building just up there. You can see it. I'll show you from the other side. But you can still see that's the entrance right there and the exit is back here usually but they were shoot both directions down February 10 years ago more 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 this one you can tell it's a uh, entrance That one might actually be an exit. Uh, they've replaced some of these, so it's not all symmetrical. Interesting times. What was achieved? Not a lot. Those tensions still exist in Thailand today, and I'm afraid it could happen again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.